Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And on the live stream, someone asked a question about making changes to a semantic model in the web author in view the model in view and they wanted to know how could they turn on comma separators for thousands or change the number of decimal places that's displayed in a number and i was like instead of all this talking you know what i had to do let's do what let's head over to my laptop so when you create lake house warehouse sql endpoint you automatically get a default semantic model and you can see can i get a little real estate here so i can show you there we go you can see when i created this lake house i get the default semantic model and the question was how do i change things in this semantic model how do i change formatting how do i have relationships and things like that and so you may be inclined to click on this ellipsis and choose open data model but it's disabled or you may go here then you'll see you can explore it and do things to it but you cannot modify it you can see things that it depends on the things that depend on it but you can't you can't change it so how do you get to it how do you make those changes well what you do is you go here to your lake house you can click directly in your lake house and then what you would do is go over here to this top right corner click this little drop down choose sql analytics endpoint you may notice hey there's a new semantic layer you can create a new one but how do i get to the default one and that's why you have to switch to the sql analytics endpoint and then once i switch to the sql analytics endpoint you'll see down here in the bottom where it says model and there's my model and so if i wanted to create a measure i can click right here choose new measure type total fair equals some fair amount something like that right and i add it to my model there's total fair right there you can see i have total fair and then i can adjust how this looks i can change it to a decimal number i can categorize it as something i can go and adjust this to say hey i need a thousand separator or i can even change the number of decimal places i can do that right here i can also because i'm in the model view what i can do is you can see i don't have any relationships if i wanted to i can create a relationship so i can grab payment type drag it over to payment type id and there you go All right so you can do lots of things directly inside this view but you need to access the sql endpoint now, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about a few of the settings. There's one major setting that I need to show you about this default semantic model. And so once you're in here, if you click on reporting, you'll see where it says manage your default semantic model and automatically update the default semantic model. So every time you add tables or make schema changes, it's automatically updated, even if you didn't want to update it. So you got to be careful about that. So you can turn this on and off. And so if I click automatic, it'll automatically update it. If I click manage default semantic model, I can add and remove things. If I get get out of this, go back to my workspace, and I go to the settings of the SQL endpoint, I could actually go to default semantic model and says when new objects are added to the warehouse, automatically add them. I could turn that off because maybe I have a deployment cycle or process that I'm working with and I want to handle those things manually as opposed to them being automatically added to that default semantic model because I have people building reports and so maybe I want to turn that off. All right, what do you think? Could you not find this setting? Well, there you go. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do post it in the comments below. If you want to learn more about Fabric and all the cool features, take a look at that video that's flying above my head. And as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.